take on the world. Classic point-and-click adventure games are loved by many. We compiled this list of the top 10 best ever made. There are some amazing games on there. Let's go. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Mm-hmm. I told you it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw up your karma. Starting strong at 10 with Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. It is the first in a stellar trilogy. The game takes place over 10 days set in New Orleans. It features a beautiful location, dives into the history of the city and even explores voodoo. It has extensive dialogue and has one of the best stories of any adventure games. Loads of interesting personalities, the voice acting is one of the best, including Worf from Star Trek, Leia Remini, and even Luke Skywalker himself. Unique puzzles and awesome gameplay make this a superb experience. At 9 we put Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. This quality game set in 1933, the eve of World War II. Nazi agents are about to get their hands on a weapon more dangerous than the atom bomb. Only Indiana Jones can stop them before they unleash the deadly secret that sank Atlantis. This game plays like the movies, you really feel like the famous explorer as you travel this well-made world. Made on the scum engine, it's a classic Lucas art meets Hollywood. For the new players, this game can be hard, but it is well worth your effort. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. I'm George Stobart, and I'm with the good guys. You're a head case, mister. A few sandwiches short of a picnic. Number 8 goes to Broken Sword, The Shadow of the Templars. It's one of the best looking game of the 90s. The puzzles are entertaining and have just the right kind of difficulty. The music is really special, the characters are memorable with good voice acting and the story is full of twists and turns and it's real witty. It's all you ever wanted in an adventure game. New to adventure games? This is a great place to start. If it isn't the great detective and his beautiful assistant, it's going to be a pleasure killing the pair of you. Lucky 7 goes to King's Quest 6, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow. What makes this the best in the series is its story. The game follows Alexander, the Prince of Daventry, desperately in love with Princess Kamishima of the Land of the Green Isles, who he met back in the previous game. Alexander journeys to her kingdom, but is shipwrecked en route. The game even came with a guidebook full of backstories. The graphics were ahead of its time with hand-drawn backgrounds, lovely cutscenes and a world full of life. The classic point-and-click adventure game is one of our favorites. Hello! The sixth game on this list is Sam and Max Hit the Road. Based on Steve Purcell's comic book series, follows Sam and Max, private investigators who are on the trail of a runaway carnival Bigfoot. This duo couldn't be more different. Sam the dog is smart, steady and the perfect investigator, and Max is a psycho and a crazy bunny. A perfect combo. Enjoy cartoon style animations and sick humor. Fun playing mini games like Whack a Rat and Battleship and engage in senseless anti-social behavior. Every scene is colorful, full of jokes and wonderfully supported by a great cast of characters. Number 5 is close to my heart. Machinarium is an award-winning indie game set in a sci-fi steampunk world. There just isn't any other game out there like it. A small robot named Joseph, who is sent to the scrap heap. His goal is to serve the head of the city, defeat the evil Black Cap Brotherhood and rescue his girlfriend Berta. Best in class music, a fantastic art style that is still great today, and very unique puzzles make this a wonderful experience. I remember playing this with my dad when I was a little wee lad, and I still have fond memories.
before we go into space with Space Quest 4, Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers. In this laugh out loud funny game made by Sierra, you play as Roger Wilco as he travels through time. Not just time, but through Space Quest games, past and future. Absolutely brilliant. Go forward to future Escape looking Space Quest 10 with the babes of Astros or back to Space Quest 1 with its old style graphics. Great voice acting, memorable music, fun puzzles and a story that keeps you entertained until the end. A must play. No. Hey, what are you doing? Let me go, b witch! Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Starting the top 3 with the artistic masterpiece of Grim Fandango. Set in the land of the dead, it follows a skeletal travel agent, Manny, as he attempts to save a new arrival, Matcha, a virtuous soul on her journey. It is in film noir style and is a tale of love, betrayal and corruption, filled with intrigue, mystery and loads of difficult puzzles. One of the best adventure games ever made, wasn't a commercial success mainly because of the many illegal copies, but is still hailed as one of the finest ever. The remastered version turned this gem into a point and click adventure game and is definitely the best way to play. Quite a big trip, and I can't lie to you Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? At number two, we present the amazing Monkey Island series. All of the games in the series are stellar, but for me personally, it's original. The secret of Monkey Island is that made me fall in love with the series. You play as Guybrush Streepwood, a young pirate wannabe. He sets out on Melee Island to find treasure and pirate fame. On his travels he will come across a beautiful governess and an evil pirate, and a whole lot of monkeys. It is downright hilarious with cleverly written dialogue. Add great graphics and lovely music and you have a true classic. like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. But the odds against that are incredible. This list was really difficult to narrow down to just 10 games. So here are multiple honorable mentions. How do you like your new body? It's wonderful, sir. There's just one thing. What's that? When will I be getting the accessories? I don't know what you mean. Ears, body hair, those little decorative parts? You're better off without them, believe me. Those are the same four threads spun by the elders. Begging your pardon, ma'am. This is a note from Mr. Holmes from Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard. Hmm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. Take all the world. And yes, the number one spot goes to the delightful Day of the Tentacle. 
This game made by LucasArts is the sequel to the also amazing Maniac Mansion. You play as Bernard and his friends Hoagie and Laverne as they attempt to stop the evil purple tentacle, sentient tentacle from taking over the world. It is the quest between three characters in alternative timelines but in the same location 200 years apart. You have to travel the past, present and future and what you do in the past affects the future in a profound way. Just a brilliant idea. It is fun, hilarious and sometimes really hard. Go play the 2016 remastered version. The adventure game is a true masterpiece. Watch this next video, it has some great games in it.